Hi, this is Frank Carmody. Today we're going to look at a little bit about constraints. We're going to continue to use the mate constraint, but this time we're going to use a um, using it with a cylinder rather than a um, rectangular or triangular solid. Okay, so we create a new part and a new assembly. And we're going to save this as Mr. Carmody Cylinder Mate Assembly. And this is going to be the cylinder. My spelling is obviously very bad. We're actually going to need another part here. Cylinder mate assembly, and we're going to call this uh, hole. Okay, and finally, we're going to do the cylinder mate assembly. Cylinder mate assembly assembly. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our cylinder, and I'm going to do this very quickly. Um, sketch and we go and make our circle and dimension that circle to be one inch one inch and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this oops oops done and I'm gonna go ahead and select it copy okay I'm gonna right click finish sketch and we're going to go ahead and extrude this to three inches. Okay, so we go ahead and save our cylinder. And we're going to go ahead and make our hole. Oops. Right click sketch one, edit sketch. And we're going to create a rectangle. Okay, and we're going to dimension that rectangle to be. Two inches by two inches. And we're going to go ahead and paste our circle. Okay, and we want to go ahead and dimension this circle from the center up uh, two inches. Or, I'm sorry, uh, one inch. Okay, we're going to dimension it from the side, also one inch. Okay, right click done, right click finish sketch, and we'll go ahead and extrude this to also two inches. Oops. Remember I had to go back and select my profile error to go select my profile. Okay, so we have both of our sketches done. Save both of our IPTs and then we're going to place both. Remember that I'm starting with the block because that is the one that, click the place button, I'm starting with the block because that's the one that is going to stay um, steady in the center of our drawing. Right click done to get out so I don't place a second uh, hole part. And we're going to do our cylinder. Okay, now now that we have our cylinder and our hole, right click and done. Now that we have our cylinder and our block, we're going to use the mate to really constrain the cylinder. So it's it's kind of counterintuitive that you would use a mate on a cylindrical object because you have this insert uh, constraint that seems like it would be used for a cylindrical object, but in fact, most of the time you're going to be using a mate. So we use mate mate constraint. So mate is selected and mate here is selected. Click the center line of the of the cylinder, the center line of the hole. Click apply. Okay, now what we have is we have a cylinder that can move still. So we have, still have to do another constraint here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click constraint. And we're going to click on the end of the cylinder and the end of the um, 
block. Now this was a mate, so what happened was is the two faces are now mated even though, and what happens is, is now they're on the same plane. What I really wanted to do was a flush, and that meant that the cylinder would be in and going up uh, to the other side. And I can go ahead and click apply, or I can do an offset. Say I wanted that cylinder to start in the center of the hole. I could make the offset of one inch and then click OK. And you'll notice that that cylinder is now one inch from the original side of the hole. Offsets are very, very useful in many cases. So there we go. Um, because material can overlap each other in Inventor, uh, using these offsets will also allow you to place things exactly where exactly you want them. Okay, so now it's your turn. Go ahead and create a cylinder, a pay, or a, a hole, and go ahead and use the constraint tool um, using a mate mate, mate the center line, uh, then flush the, the cylinder to one side of the uh, hole, and then use the offset to make to put that cylinder exactly halfway through your hole. Uh, good luck.